There are probably lots of really cool ways to learn to play the violin. I uh, started before the plague hit us. And um, when I first started, when I first got my violin at Christmas, the way that my whole practice was, was with the Trolla app. And if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. I say this to everyone, um, the Trolla app is very, very cool. Um, I don't know that I would be playing violin if it weren't for it. It makes learning the violin really easy. And I'm not getting paid for this to say this. It, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, it makes playing the violin really fun. And for those of you that are just getting started, you know that playing the violin can be a bit daunting. It is um, very complicated and it's teaching you whole new skill sets that you probably have not had to use before. And it does it in a way that is kind of like playing the violin and a video game all at the same time. And I think it's uh, it's a really very cool way to get you going. Um, just before the pandemic started, I was using the Trolla app and I was taking in-person lessons and I honestly think I was getting more out of the Trolla app. Uh, the private lessons were really great, um, but where I was back in, in January, especially, I was still trying to figure out basic, basic things. Um, as time went on into February, the in-person lessons helped. I was using the Suzuki method. I still use the Suzuki method as well. I think it's really good. Um, but for a good chunk of time, it was mostly the Trala app and me and my violin. And I think it's a really valuable tool. So what I would suggest is if you're just starting to play the violin, download the Trala app, get a subscription for it, and try it out. It's going to be fun. You're going to really enjoy the interface that it has. It's kind of like... Um, one of those, I'm going to try to explain what I'm talking about without using the, the name of the product, but it's like using a certain video game that you <laughs> used to play where uh, you'd be playing pop songs along with things passing on the screen. I think you know which one I'm talking about. Um, Trala uses a similar methodology to that and it helps you get your intonation right. If you don't know what intonation is, it's how you're playing those notes. So it lets you know if you're hitting it properly, because remember, a violin doesn't have frets, so you really have to kind of figure it out, or it sounds absolutely terrible. And uh, there's lots of songs, it's really fun, and there's a ton of great violinists who get on there and give little guest classes and things like that and it, it's just fun and more than that uh, the people at Trala are just normal everyday people and they reach out to you and they make you feel welcome with this you know crazy awesome instrument that you're falling in love with and that means a lot especially during a pandemic when we're locked down and the world is so weird and the time with your violin is, in a lot of ways, it's almost like therapy for you, for your soul. So I'm filling up a lot of time when you could be practicing. Try it out. See what you think. Um, I don't think you're going to find that it's not right for you, especially if you're just starting out. If you're already an established violinist, well, you know, maybe that's not for you. But uh, for beginners... It's definitely the way to go. So try it out. I know you'll love it. So here's the Trala app. It is available in the Apple Store if you're a Mac user like me. And it's a pretty simple thing. You just download it. You can use it for free. And there is a subscription fee as well if you want to get all the cool bells and whistles. 
Welcome to Trala. I think this is a pretty cool app. Um, you can basically try it out for seven days, and after that, you pay a little bit a month, basically, or I think you can pay, uh, I, I can't remember what it is for a year, and you get full access that way. It's a great way to start learning the violin. I really enjoyed it. It's like a game, and it's fun, and it gives you stars. It's full of awesome little tips about how you should play and all these cool little videos that go along with it. Pretty fun. And there's very interesting people to help you out as you go. Actually, this guy is awesome. His violining made me jealous. And there are some stellar violinists who come and help you out with different songs and give you some good advice which is pretty cool. When you're learning how to play the violin, yeah. establishing your tone is very So it's a lot of fun. You and get lots of people that, telling you lots of things. In the right hands. If you're going to play fast, you have to be really, really relaxed. As exciting and this guy's a riot. Is, you don't see me playing like this. Right? And I would agree. This is great.